what's up guys once again you're welcome to my channel today all right guys it appears that our uh, evidence shows that um osibanjo you know uh is beginning to romance with pdp leaders and according to um some persons they said that osibanjo is giving himself a soft landing in the pdp probably in the next election pdp might field osibanjo as their candidate, you know, to defeat Tenobu. You can see that uh, this is a um, this is a Bayosta State uh, Governor's Father's burial, Padiri, you know, and you can see here this is Osibanjo is the only APC member in this um, in this uh, gathering, you know. You can see that this is Obasanjo giving Osibanjo the podium for him to address the people. Obasanjo was initially called upon. But as soon as he reached there, he called Osibanjo to give the address, you know. So this has made people to actually begin to um, conclude that Osibanjo is cementing the ground so that to give himself a soft landing, should he be considered as um, as a very good candidate to be picked in 2027. Um, you know so but this has left a lot of reaction because if you look at this video now there was no apc member tenebo was invited other apc uh, chieftains were all invited but they never came because they consider this a pdp you know um this is a pdp meeting so they never came but only osibanjo attended this meeting i'm going to play the video so that you listen to what he says you know, and again, to I'm going to tell you another evidence again to prove that Osibanjo has totally fallen out with um, with Tinobu and APC completely. Uh, just watch this video, and then when you are we are back to analyze the video, I'm going to tell you the full evidence to show that Osibanjo is going to leave APC. Watch this video. <laughs> So, like I said, I think I was going to give you more instances of uh, Tenobo, you know, leaving 
IPC. Uh, number one, you see, you saw a recent um, video of where Tenobu made his book launch and invited Chimamanda, you know, who is very critical of the APC government. Chimamanda was invited and we also saw that not only being critical of APC government, you saw what Chimamanda did, the unforgivable sin she committed against Tinobu. That's the way APC guys see it. By writing to Joe Biden, the President of the United States, not to recognize um, Tinobu's win in the just concluded election, she wrote, and she has been very critical of the Buhari's administration. But you see that Tinobu invited Chimamanda, invited Chimamanda to uh, her book launch, and they further went ahead to even wear the same clothes, the same as Soebi, and uh, snap a picture that has gone viral on the internet. A lot of you may have seen that picture, you know. So, but in that meeting, even um, Tinobu, I mean, Buhari never attended that Osibanjo book launch. He never attended it because uh, he was advised not to attend it because Chimamanda was there. But Tinobu did not give a damn. He invited this lady to her book launch and then uh, Tinobu was not there. Some high profile um, APC members were not there, but PDP members were there. PDP members were there. I think as uh, Obasanjo was there and some other PDP. Uh, members, dignitaries were actually there in that in that meeting, you know. So you hear me refer to Obasanjo as a PDP member. Yes, Obasanjo is a PDP member. Although some years ago he tore his card, but if you look at what he's doing, you know that he's a PDP uh, member. And I bet you, Obasanjo, if Osibanjo should come out to contest on that PDP platform, Obasanjo, you see Obasanjo fully involved. In the PDP business, Obasanjo, what he just wants is he wants the best candidate to emerge for this country. That's what he wants. That is his own dream of uh, forming the third force. You know, so he has spoken about it in his book, The Third Force. That is his dream. Although we are not going to absolve Obasanjo of all Nigerian problems because most of the problems in Nigeria today, if not many of them, he contributed to to it. Like for instance, people say he's calling for restructuring today. Why didn't he do the restructure himself when he was president? You know, all of them today they are beginning to call for restructuring. Even Go One, they are, but when Go One was presented with the opportunity to do the restructuring when he was when he was a military head of state, he never did it. And you can remember the Abure Accord where he signed it. But on coming back to Nigeria, he broke the Abure Accord. They had together with uh, Biafra leader uh, Ujuku and went ahead to, you know, to spoil the whole thing. All right, guys. So that's what we're saying. What do you guys think? Osibanjo, do you think Osibanjo will join PDP at the end of the day? He has fallen, he has fallen apart with Tinobu, his own mentor, with APC. They don't like him. In fact, they even disown him over the invitation of Chimamanda during his book launch. And do you think that Osibanjo didn't know what he was doing? He knew what he was doing. He knew the consequence. So what do you think? Do you think that Osibanjo is dancing with the devil? Is he dining with the devil? That is, I'm using his dramatic expression to refer to the PDP. Is he actually cementing his way to the PDP? Is he trying to give himself soft landing? for the pdp i want to drop your comments below let me know what you think this is emma Count tv god bless you